Hello, everybody, and welcome, welcome. It is time for the wrap-up video. It is actually already June 2nd today as I'm filming this, Sunday the 2nd. So happy June, and I think the thumbnail will probably be the new calendar page for uh, in the Sumo calendar for the year of June. But this is a look back, of course, at the May bus show. Uh, they call it the summer bus show. The one in Tokyo are named after the seasons. So this is the closest one uh, to summer. The next one, September, is called the Aki bus show, the fall bus show. Uh, okay. So obviously a weird bus show for me. Uh, you know, I, I really just didn't want to risk the channel being taken down completely. So I had to kind of shut everything down and just kind of do a lot of this, talking to the camera. And you guys were really supportive, and I appreciate that. Um, so I've already uh, joined Vimeo, and I'm starting to put videos on there, seeing what, you know, like, what are their parameters? Because I think a lot of Patreon people use Vimeo as their platform and then embed it into Patreon, um, et cetera. So I'm just trying to look at what's what's viable. Um, yeah. Um, and so if you have any more feedback, like I said, about that other website, well, we'll take a look at it. Odyssey, OD ODC, Odyssey. I think you pronounce it Odyssey. Um, that looks like another one I'll play around with in June and just try. I actually don't have hardly any, I, right after I film my, my, my videos within a day, I usually delete them because I, you know, I don't want to crowd up my iPad. And um, so I don't have any like NHK videos. I had to go back to 2021 and I found some videos I'd filmed uh, in July of 2021 that had NHK footage in them because I want to put up something with NHK to see if I can use NHK. Are they going to strike me on Vimeo? Um, and I guess I should put up some Abema stuff too. But uh, yeah, so it, what's what's looking like is going to happen, and I'll talk more about this in the welcome video. The welcome video will go up uh, probably July 7th, uh, which is a week before the bus show starts on July 14th, uh, is that I will use this channel, and, I'll, and you guys seem to like the summary. I'll do a summary every day, but the actual match coverage will be on a different channel. And I'll put a link, you know, on this video on YouTube. And uh, so if you're a member and you just want to support the channel still, you can still be a member through YouTube and uh, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. So that's what's looking likely. Uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. If I do Patreon, um, you know, like I said, I'll try to make it a dollar uh, so you can join and, and watch the videos for almost nothing. Um, and yeah, it, it, you know, again, if you have other suggestions, you guys have given me lots of good suggestions, um, but uh, I don't think YouTube is an avenue anymore for at least match coverage uh, if I want to use either NHK or Abema. So uh, that's a shame, but that's where we are at. So, okay, uh, so let's look at the bot show. I've obviously got lots of things to share with you. I got to remember, I'm going to write it down. <laughs> to pick two, uh, I just thought of that, two channel members always get a a, a prize at random. Uh, that's kind of a little perk of being a channel member. So we'll do that. Um, all right, here we go. Share screen. So let's look at Fred's chart. Of course, always the awesome Fred Pink and his charts. So Terano Fuji pulled out. Uh, will he come back in July? We hope so. Um, you know, obviously he showed up here in May for a day or two, uh, but obviously was not a factor. Oshoru doing okay at 10 and five, you know, he had an 11 and four in March. So it's actually a little bit of a, of an underperformance for Hoshoru. Koto Zakura, you know, 11 and four would not normally, not normally, yeah, not normally seem that great, but he was runner up because the winner won with a 12 and three, uh, Abi doing well. Uh, you know, if, if you're an Abi fan, uh, he's now got 10 wins here and nine wins here. That's 19. So he'd have to do really, really well in, in uh, July to get Ozeki. He'd have to win the U show with a 14 and one or a 15 and oh, uh, but, uh, or I guess be runner up with a 14 and one if somebody else went Zen show, U show, 
Uh, but, uh, you know, he, he's, he's obviously, you know, building up momentum if he wants to try to make a stab for Ozeki. The big disappointment, I think, for a lot of people is Wakamoto Haru, who, you know, was M1 here way back in January, got his 10 and 5, jumped up to Sekewake, stayed at Sekewake. And I think people were hoping for good things from him and just couldn't, uh, didn't have a good bot show. I'm assuming uh, it's an injury here. Uh, and we'll go pretty far down the Bonsake, uh, to be honest. Uh, Asanoyama is going to plummet. So he kind of worked his way back up. You know, he'd gone down to M7. Then, boom, up to uh, M1 and did well. Got himself back to Komosubi for the first time in a long time in the Sanyaku. And then had to pull out of the tournament. Uh, so he'll go down uh, probably to double-digit Maigashira. Uh, so that's 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 disappointing. The big story, of course, Ono Sato stepping up, getting the Yu Show, winning the Gino Show and the Shikun Show, and just having a fantastic a run. If you look, of course, 11 wins uh, on his debut in January, then 11 wins again at M5, and now 12 wins at Komosubi. Some of you, I think, are hoping that those 11 wins at M5 will ha help count toward him becoming an Ozeki, and they generally don't. There's been occasions where some wins at, say, an M1 have have counted, but generally they want you to get your Ozeki wins at either Komosubi or Sekewake. Um, so basically he's at 12 now. If he has another good, you know, he needs to get at least 10 wins in uh, July at Sekewake. He'll be promoted to Sekewake, and that would then put him up in, in good position for September. And again, September, all he would need would be 10 or 11, um, and he would become an Ozeki for the November tournament. So that's now, there, there's a tiny chance that they would count the 11 he got at M5. If he were to to win the U show again in July and have back to back U show, um, one at Komasubi, one at Sekewake, with the previous record being 11 and 4, yes, I think he would get promoted to Ozeki for the September bus show. So there are conditions where that could happen. But uh, just assuming he just does well um, and doesn't win the U show in July, uh, he's still certainly on his way. Um, Dae show should move up and take over one of the empty Komasubi slots and the other one should go to Hirada Umi, these two guys right here, because Atami Fuji failed to get his uh, Kachikoshi, so he'll go slightly down. And uh, may say will go way up, probably, you know, up to uh, M1. And maybe a Tommy Fuji will just slide from one side to the other. Uh, so we'll just have to see. <clears throat> the big, the big, the other big story is Kirishima. You know, what a, what a disappointment in a way. I think everybody was expecting really good things. And, you know, uh, when he was 11 and four here, and then, uh, you know, he had this five and 10, you know, he's just off his game. And then he came here and he only got one win and, and, you know, he eventually pulled out. So something, you know, medical or, or, Injury wise is happening with him. And unfortunately, you know, he was Kadoban. So he he is going to get demoted to Sekewake, Kirishima, and he has to get 10 wins, or he'll be demoted out to the rank and file like, you know, Takeyasu, Mitakeyumi, Shodai. These are all former Ozeki that now fight down in the regular uh regular Maigashira ranks. Because uh, that happened to them. You know, they went to Sekewake and couldn't get the 10. Uh, so, uh, Takekesho will also be Kadoban, but, you know, he bounces back from Kadoban, you know, almost every. I think he's had to go to Sekewake once, Takekesho, in his career, and he was able to obviously get the 10. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's that's a disappointing thing for Kirishima. Not to say that if, if, he, if he can't, you know, if whatever's ailing him, if he can't recoup, uh, if he can recoup, I should say, sorry, um, that he can't get those 10. I think he's perfectly capable of doing that, um, but it just depends on his body and whatever is ailing him, right? So we will have three Sekewake in um, uh, in July. Uh, it'll be Abi, Onosato, and Kirishima, along with three Ozeki, 
Hoshoru, Koto Zakura, and then Tadoban, Takakesho, and hopefully one Yokozuna. And then our two Komasubi should be Daisho and Hirada Umi. That should be the top ranks, and then we'll fill in. Now, as far as going down, and we're going to look at uh, Tachiai's predictions uh, as we go down the list here. Uh, Takeda Fuji, who, you know, obviously won the U show here, and we were all looking forward to seeing him compete, and then he didn't even show up because of, an, uh, what is it, his ankle, I think, is injured. And unfortunately, M6 with a with no wins, uh, I think, this is just me, I think the Sumo Association should keep him at M17 and let him stay in the top division because he's almost a marquee name now. Like, people want to see him compete. But you'll see Tachi in a minute. They predict he'll get demoted all the way to Jurio. So that that would be unfortunate for him because, you know, to win a U show like that and then to not even get to compete again in the top division, at least temporarily, I'm not saying that he can't bounce right back and get back in, but uh, I think it just behooves them to keep him in the top division where people want to see him compete uh, in the most popular division. Uh, but, uh, you know, they have to follow precedent. And I, I don't know how many guys, you know, have, have had to pull out of a tournament around M5, M6, M7. You know, usually no wins is a 10 rank demotion, at least. Um, let's see, did anyone, let's see, look, Surugi show here was M6 and he got two wins and they took him all the way down to M17. So uh, anybody else? Here's uh, Takayasu got only two wins, and they took him down uh, basically nine ranks. So, yeah, you know, and he got zero. I'm trying to think. Is there a zero recently? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, but it was Shimazu Emu. You know, yeah, no, okay. Okay, so, yeah, it's it's not looking good if you're a Takeda Fuji fan or if you're at least wanting to see him, see what he does next, as it were, after his amazing uh, win in March. But uh, I'm hoping to keep him, you know, way down at M17. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he might be headed for Jurio. The other people headed for Jurio, we know for sure. Surugisho with a 3-12 and 12 down here. Tomokaze with a 2-13. and 13. Toki Hayate with a 6-9. and nine. And probably, um, uh, what's the one? Oh, here, Mitoru with a two and nine and four at M13. Those four guys for sure. And then if they add to Ketafuji, there's a fifth opening, right? So we'll just have to see how it goes. Okay. So let's stop that. Have a quick drink. Ah, anything exciting planned for June? Here's my boy. I turned him over, so he's black and white now. Uh, June for me. Uh, some movies finally are coming out. You know, Hollywood movies that are making their way over here. Um, we have our big Taiksai, which is sports festival, sports day at my school in June. It's June twenty second, so the kids really, really enjoy it. It's uh, at my school. It's a combined junior high and high school, so it's uh, six. Uh, I'm sorry. Three grades and three grades, so six grades total. So it's a lot of kids, but it's still not a huge school. Um, but all of them out on the sports field, um, playing various games, running marathon, you know, relay races, I should say, um, wacky games, uh, and dancing uh, and chanting. And uh, just it's, it's an all-day-long thing on a Saturday, so I'm just hoping it's nice weather because that can affect it a lot. And for me as a teacher, I appreciate the camaraderie and, and how much the kids enjoy it, but it really interrupts my lessons because like the three days leading up to it, that like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, they're out there, they're practicing, you know, we might have a lesson here or there. And, and if they do have a lesson, they're really tired or they're really distracted. And, uh, but, uh, you know, it, it's, it's a big school event it happens every year. I'm used to it by now, but, uh, um, uh, yeah, I think overall they really enjoy it. There's a, you know, the new seventh graders have never done it at that level. The new kids who came to our high school at 10th grade, uh, which is the majority of the kids, um, are new to our school. So they've never done our style of sports day. You know, every school tweaks it a little bit and we only have two teams. I used to teach at a junior high that had like 400 kids. 
in just three grade levels. And so we had like four or five teams, depending on the number of kids. Like we had a blue team, a pink team, a yellow team, uh, a red team, you know. And here we just have a red and a white. And so we split the kids up. And uh, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, I enjoy it. Uh, but uh, that's part of big part of my June. Okay, back to sumo. Don't 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 share screen. So of course I get those awesome charts from Fred. So here's his website. It's there's the link is always down in the description of these wrap up videos and welcome videos because he makes uh, he'll make a new one in about a month when the bonds K comes out. The bonds K comes out uh, for the July tournament on July first, Monday, July first. So um, so he'll make a new one and you can download it there. So go visit Fred. So let's jump over to what Tachi I had to say for Jurio for Nagoya. So they're saying um, the three guys coming up from uh, Makushta are Hayo, who was uh, the top of the third tier division, MS1, five wins and two losses. Nabatame, five wins and two losses at M2. And Fuji Seun, who's, uh, who won the U show 7 0, way down at MS11, but because he went undefeated, he's going to get promoted all the way up. Uh, and these are these are actually uh, set in stone. This is an official uh, notification that they announced that uh, changeover, if you will, uh, before the bonds decay. Because these guys are changing. You got to remember when you go from the third tier division up to the second tier division, it's a move from being an unsalaried, you know, dependent on the good nature of your oyakata, your coach, stable master. To being a salaried sekitori, so it's it's a big move for some of them. Some of them, uh, two of these guys are brand new, uh, as you can see here, sekitori debuts, and that's Kayo and Nabatame, and the other uh, Fuji Seun has been in Jurio before, but I think he only lasted one tournament. So it's unfortunate every now and then some people miss out. Like this guy is an MS three with a nice five and two record. Normally that'd probably pop you up. But he's going to have to settle for being MS1 and have another go at it in July. These are the three guys they think are going down from Jurio. Um, and they're pretty obvious. So that's Chiyomaru at J13. J14 is the bottom of Jurio, Jurio 14. Uh, 4 and 11. Oshomi came up and only lasted one tournament. So he's going back down with a 5 and 10. And Kaze Keno just missing out at J14 with a 7 and 8. So uh, these two guys are probably mostly unknown to you, but if you've been watching Sumo for a while, you're probably familiar with Chiyomaru, very round uh, lad, and unfortunately now going down to, uh, yeah, he's been a secretary for over a decade. Uh, and so uh, he's been in the Maigashira ranks and the Jurio ranks for a long time, but now finally going down to the third tier division. And here's his uh, up and down from Jurio. This is the part where he talks about division exchanges. So the people coming up from Jurio back into the top division include Wakataka Kage, uh, the winner of the uh, Jurio Championship uh, for May. So good for him at J6. He got a 14 and 1, so that's promotion. Endo only had to go down for one tournament. Uh, with a twelve, nice twelve and three at J three, then you have Chiyoshoma. Now don't get Chiyoshoma confused with Chiyomaru. <laughs> Chiyoshoma uh, at J three. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, Kagiyaki, who's probably familiar to many of you, with an eleven and four, and they're saying Bushozan at J two with a nine and six. So they picked out these five guys as all deserving promotion up to Jurio which would indicate that Takeda Fuji probably will get demoted all the way down to Jurio. And they even mention it here, uh, Takeda Fuji. I still think they're going to keep Takeda Fuji in the top division. <clears throat> and one of these guys, what was Chiyoshoma's record at J3? One of these guys might um, have to wait. Uh, so we'll just see. But, uh, the, you know, the same guys, Surugisho, Tomokaze, Mitoru, and Toki Hayate. Um, I mean, they could they could pick Roga to go down. 
uh, with a seven and eight at M15, but generally a seven and eight, you only go down one rank. So he's probably going to go down to M16, maybe M17, but he shouldn't go down to Jurio. Um, they'd be kind of treating him rough if they did that to him uh, to keep Takeda Fuji in. So it, it's tough. Um, and then, of course, the runner up had an amazing tournament, Onokatsu, down in Jurio at J12 with a 13 and 2, a runner up to the 14 and 1 of Wakataka Kage. But, uh, you know, that's a fair way down the Bonds case. So he'll go way up. Uh, to J1 or J2, and then if he has another good tournament, he'll he'll be in the top division by September. So that's another name. You know, we have a lot of Onos now to kind of keep track of Ono Sato, and here's Ono Katsu. Uh, you should uh, keep that name in mind because I think he's an up-and-comer for sure. Uh, so what was the other one? Okay. Hi. So let's look at some other things. Buy Sumo Tickets has given away the Tegata Prize. So, yay. Thank you to um, Jeff for doing that. And we have one clear winner. We'll get to that in a minute. And so he's going to be able to pick something from this impressive list uh, of uh, Tegatas. There's an Ono Sato right there, um, as well as Teruno Fuji, Tochinoshi, if he's a fan of some of the old school, and Koto Zakura, uh, as Koto Zakura. So that's his brand new Shikona. So that's a lot of fun. Um, so go and check those out on a Jeff's store. And as always, if, you, if you're if you coming to Japan and you need sumo tickets, uh, he is a, a reliable source uh, to, to get tickets at, at what I believe is a fair price. Okay, over at the actual sumo shop, uh, it's no surprise that they're hitting Ono Sato heavy. Uh, lots, of, lots of Ono Sato goods here. Uh, his towel, uh, here's his fan. Uh, some keychain type of thing. This is like really expensive. This is 300,000 yen, which in the old 100 yen to a dollar would be $3,000 item, but it's not that much in the current exchange rate, but it's like a gold Ignat or something with his name pressed into it. And then they have these really big posters, which I'm, I'm debating, as you can see how big it is. It would kind of replace this guy, um, but they're pretty cool. I don't think they're double-sided though. And of course, they have you know everybody. Um, I don't know who I would get. That's a great picture of Hoshoru, though. If you win the contest and you you know and you want one of these, so Patrick, if you're the winner this time, if you're watching this video, if you want one of these instead of a Tegata, I'm sure one of the second place people would take the Tegata. But I'm happy to order this for you and ship it to you because these are awesome, um, and they have so many choices down here. So. Um, yeah, there's Chiomaru. There he is. Um, down into the Jurio ranks and uh, just a lot of fun. Okay. So uh, I think I'm going to uh, order some stuff because I'm kind of running a little low on some of the stuff. And so if you have something you want uh, uh, to order, like look at all these uh, uh fans you can get here's all the towels here's the towels with their face on them uh, i have some of these left over still um so yeah those kind of things aren't too hard for me to mail they're not too heavy and then of course if you want stuff uh i was looking around um robert shop big sumo fan and he has these really cool directories um and the price quoted to me it, you know it knows i'm in japan so it's quoting me yen um the dollar on that, what I would assume would be about $28. Um, but it's like, these are big, thick books. Um, and uh, let's see, 160 pages. And it's like every sumo wrestler and the Gyoji and there's p color pictures. And he has some going back a little way. If you want something uh, older, um, there's hiragana on all the wrestler names. So if you can just do a little bit of Japanese, you're okay. And you just drop down and he's got him going back to 2020. So that's kind of a cool thing. Um, no, that's just a close up. So, of course, he has uh, the new programs. He's got all the bonds. Okay, he's got all the towels and he's got the new cards. So that's great. Um, is he still selling boxes? Yes. OK, so that's probably about in $90 for a box, which is a fair price uh, considering shipping and everything. Um, and a lot of people now pre-order with him. So, um, 
yeah, if you're interested in the cards, uh, have a look. I, of course, have a sealed box here. And this is what you're looking for, these treasure cards. They're numbered out of 25. And, you know, obviously only one per box if you get lucky. You're not guaranteed. I've already opened the box because I couldn't wait. And um, uh, I did not get one. I did not get an autograph either. So the autographs are generally out of 60. So we were kind of having a discussion, like, which one's worth more. And I think the fact that the wrestler signs it, even though there's more of them, still makes the autographs a little bit more valuable. But these treasure cards are really cool looking, and they are very limited. And they're the top guys. It's like Terunofuji, Takakesho, Kirishima, Hoshoru, Kotozakura, like the, the Ozeki and the Yokozuna. So uh, I'm going to unbox this unopened box on the, live on the channel uh, probably in about a week or so. Uh, yeah, maybe on the 15th or so. On the 8th, we're doing a charity car wash at work. So I have to go and help kids wash cars. And then 15th, I think I'm free. And then 22 is sports day. So probably on June 15th, around there, I'm going to unbox uh, those. So if you're interested in that, uh, check back for that video. That, of course, can go on YouTube, no problem. And uh, let's just talk about some other sumo news. Uh, Hakuo, Hakuo, Hakuho, Hakuho, <laughs> the, the greatest Yokozuna of all time, uh, is going to stay at Isigahama for another basho. They, you know, debated it or whatever, and they said, okay, he's going to stay under the tutelage of Isigahama Oyakata. So him and his wrestlers. There, it's looking more likely that his stable, Miyagino stable, will reopen uh, at some point, but just not in the near future. Um, so, you know, it's it's tough. His obviously his top guy is at this point um, Hakuoho, who um, might go back. I I didn't look. Let's go look and see where he's at really quick. Uh, share screen. Do do do. Do, do, do. Okay, hi. Gotta go to Sumo Main. How did he do? I don't remember. Tournament records. All right, we want to go down to Jurio. Here we go. He was down about eight, right? There he is. He went five, six, and four. So basically five and ten at Jurio eight. Yeah, that's 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 tough. I th I think he'll stay. I think he'll go down to jury of 13 or 14. I don't think they're going to demote him all the way out. Um, so it was good that he came back, I guess, after these absences. He got two wins after he came back. So that's probably going to help him stay in the jury of division. And he, of course, is the top man now in, uh, well, I mean, in Isigahama, he's not the top man because they've got the <laughs> they've got the Yokozuna there. And Takara Fuji, Atami Fuji, Midori Fuji, Nishiki Fuji, Takara Fuji, and there he is. But he's sort of the 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 Miyagino stable guy. And unfortunately, uh, four guys who used to be under Hakuho uh, decided to retire. Um, and so that's, you know, that's tough. Uh, they just, I guess, don't want to keep going uh, in the current situation. And... Uh, you know, none of them were big name wrestlers, but uh, that's four less guys in a time when uh, finding new wrestlers is 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 tough, especially new Japanese wrestlers, right? Um, Kotoeko retired. Let's have a look at Kotoeko. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Uh, tournament records. He was in the third tier division. <laughs> you might recognize uh, Kotoeko. Uh oh. Come on, there it goes. I think he was down around 11. Yep, here he is. So, long time uh, stalwart of the top division. And, uh, you know, he was in my Gashira just, you know, just at the, at the end of last year, then got taken down to Jurio. And obviously, boom, 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 you know, three three rungs down in a row. Um, so, something's, something's going on. But he's also, you know, getting up there. His highest rank ever was my Gashira 4. Uh, but he he was definitely a fixture. Uh, never won any any of the big titles, and he is going to I think become an Oyakata uh, at some point. So uh, just you know a name you might remember. He's he retired, 
And then the other thing going on is um, Yoshikaze. Uh, let's see if we can go to uh, Sumo Stable Guide. And okay, so Kisano Sato's stable uh, is called Ni Nishono Seki. And Yoshikaze here, the former Sekewake, was one of his coaches, and they've decided to split. And Yoshikaze is going to start a new stable called Nakamura Stable. And, uh, oh no, I'm not sure if that's the name of the stable. That's his, that's his Oyakata name, Nakamura. Somebody can let me know in the comments what the stable is going to be called. I can't remember. I, it's not going to be called Nakamura now, I remember. Anyway. Um, and he's taken a few of his wrestlers with him. Um, Tomokaze is going with him. And uh, I think Kayo, who just is getting promoted, might be going with him. Uh, but uh, Ono Sato, which is obviously the big uh, one for uh, Kiseno Sato, and Shirokuma are staying with Kiseno Sato. So that was some kind of news there. Um, I don't know if that's an, an animosity thing, uh, if they've kind of parted ways uh because of you know creative differences as they say in hollywood like are they just not quite on the same page as far as uh how they want to treat their wrestlers and train them or is it something else but uh yeah so that's uh you know a little bit of uh sumo news happening in the off season as it were uh okay so let's look at the contest now and um i really uh you know i i have Atami Fuji, this is his, one of his face towels, um, uh, just all kinds of stuff. I still have this nice big uh, poster uh, that you can fold out. I don't want to do the whole thing, but it's really big. It has like all the big wrestlers from a couple last show ago that I can easily send. Uh, we had three people. Patrick came in first. Uh, Ian and Kimboshi <laughs> uh, are in second. So Patrick is, you know, all alone in first. So he gets the Tegata from uh, buy sumo tickets if he wants it. If not, it'll go to one of the other guys. Um, the third place people. Oh, let me let me bring up the the list here real quick. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, hi. So, um, uh, here standings. Okay, all right. So we had uh, four people tied for third place. Sia Mak, Biz92, Felipe, and Patternet. So if the three of you want a prize, I'm happy to send you something. Just email me, you know, Jason Sumo 2024, no, 2023 <laughs> at gmail.com. I'll put the link, you know, the email address down in the description. Um, I can either send you something really light and easy to mail, or I can just send you a gift card for buy sumo or Amazon, because you did come in third. I feel like that's a bronze medal. Uh, there's, there's only four of you. So I can, I can send you something. Uh, so let me know, but Ian and Kimboshi, uh, you know, lots of stuff to choose from here. And Patrick of course is eligible for the Tegata. And if it comes down to it, um, Kimboshi pick the, um, correct tiebreaker who was going to get the Kachikoshi first, so he would get second dibs if Patrick doesn't want the Tegata. Okay. So what else have I got? Um, I You know, a lot of towels. Um, I've got this kind of like little chibi towel, and it folds out. That one's pretty big. I got the smaller uh, Midori Fuji. Of course, Midori means green, and it's green. Uh, Asanoyama. These are kind of fun. I got the old school style there, Takakesho, and I believe that's Endo, maybe. Um, these like cute sumo people. <laughs> uh, what else? Yeah, I getting kind of kind of low. Oh, I got a lot of fans. Takakesho, the Yokozuna. Fan favorite Uda. And these are, you know, people waving in the crowd and stuff. Those are easy to mail. Uh, still got some clear files. What else have I got down? Oh, I got another big towel. I got a Kobe Zaru. So this also has his face on it, like the Atami Fuji. So I got two big towels left. 
Um, <laughs> Enho stuff is that is anyone ever going to want Enho stuff ever again? Uh, this one has Ura, Endo, and Ishiura on it, which is kind of fun. It says Sumo, and the back says Sumo Japan is dynamic. <laughs> so those are fun. Uh, I still, I think I have a couple keychains and magnets still. So those aren't too tough. Like if you're a third place person, here's a Tochi Notion magnet. And who's this? <laughs> Itchy Nojo. So yeah, uh, there we go. At some point when I move and I move back to America, uh, I'm going to have to just have like a, you know, just pick your name at random. <laughs> you get something uh giveaway because you know i don't want to take all this stuff with me uh but uh, there you go okay so let's pick two channel members at random uh you know what i think what i'll do is i'll do that because i don't want to show the whole list because I'm, I'm i'm worried that does it have any information on there yeah maybe i shouldn't show the list um but uh channel members if you're a channel member i will put a thing in the community tab so please check um It'll go right to you, channel members only, and it'll say, hey, these are the two winners of random sumo gift for May. Okay, so just, you know, keep an eye out for that. It'll happen later today, and I'll just pick two numbers at random and go down the list. The, the channel members actually went up, uh, considering all the craziness happening. So a lot of you went by and supported the channel that way, and, uh, you know, I'm just so happy, so thankful for that. So thank you so much. Um, you know, I get I get the money from Basho months in the month after the Basho, right? Because, you know, the money for May gets put in my account in June. So in a couple of weeks, I'll, I'll see the benefit of those added memberships. So that's a really awesome. Thank you guys so much. Um, shout out to my dad. Would have been his birthday yesterday. He, he passed away a few years ago, but I miss him a lot. So say nice things to your dad if he's around. I think it's Father's Day in June too in America, right? Uh, my sister, also shout out to my sister, Linda. She is turning 60 in a few weeks. And I made a fun video with my students where we talked about how old people are that are 60. Because, um, you know, my kids are studying World War II. And so <laughs> I had them be like, Mr. Harris, was she alive in World War II? And I was like, yes, yes, she was. She's that old, you know. So, so I hope she gets a laugh out of it. They're having like a big party for her and my niece. Asked me to send something. And your album of the week. Uh, yes, I still collect CDs because I'm old. And it's uh, Voodoo Lounge by the Rolling Stones. I kind of slept on this album, I think, when it came out. Uh, way back in like 1994. As just kind of like, uh, yeah, you know, they're still trying album. Because I wasn't a huge fan of Steel Wheels. Uh, but this album is good. If you haven't listened to this album, pick it up on Spotify or Apple Music and give it a listen. Um, it's fantastic. Okay. I feel like there's one other thing I'm supposed to do, one other thing I'm supposed to say, but I can't think of what it is. Oh, shout out to Vegan Sumo. I sent him an email, but he sent me, it's way over there, so I can't grab it, a really nice um, program from back in the day, uh, you know, the Basho program with Hanuma Fuji on the cover that I guess he had laying around. And so he was nice enough to, to contact me and send that to me. So thank you for that. Uh, every now and then I do get random stuff from you guys. Oh, and uh, if you get a prize or something, I will send you a, a, a nifty sticker. So I'll ask you who your favorite wrestler is, and maybe one of those stickers will be good for you. Um, okay, so yeah, so tune back in in a couple weeks. We'll have the um, the unboxing, and of course, uh, by July 1st, when the Bonds Cake comes out, and then July 7th for the welcome video, I will have figured out how I'm going to do the July tournament. And we'll go forward from there. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding. And uh, take care of yourselves. Have a good June. Okay, see you. Bye.